It's time for news. I'm Tony. And I'm Borden. And Got a you, few cool stories for you this week. If you were hoping to see another trailer of your favorite protagonist, Terrorists, Rogue One's out with a new trailer. New trailer. Uh, this is, the, I think, the last trailer they said that they're going to be releasing for Rogue One as far as story trailers go. They might do some more, like, cuts and stuff like that. But I, um, There's enough trailers out there. This one really pieces oh, yeah. together the whole idea uh, of the movie. I felt like this one here also kind of gave me the most information as far as the story goes. Like, we finally do see that Mads Mikkelsen's character is... Hannibal Lecter. Yes, he's going to be playing Hannibal Lecter in this as well. Kind of in a very big way, though, because <laughs> he's building the Death Star. I was going to say that plan. he is he is uh, he is the like kind of I, 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 you assume he's probably like the chief engineer on the jet the Death Star, but you also find out that he's Jin Erso's father, which is the main character, the main there. Yeah, yeah, the main female lead there, um, which is an interesting like I didn't see that like I didn't know that was coming. You get to see a lot more of Donnie Yen and like the rest Just of the group using guns, and being stuff. cool, being yeah. a badass. Um, you get to see Forrest Whitaker's robot legs for like a minute. Yeah, Not that even. was weird. He's got like really, you know, it's really funny like to me because legs. like, yeah, he's got like pirate almost legs. <laughs> this is Star Wars. People have like robot hands and shit, but like this motherfucker's walking around on like, like, like fucking two leg. metal peg legs and he made shit. from a fucking stool or something. <laughs> He stole them off a droid. Never, <laughs> never bothered fucking. They're not even plugged in. They're not even he's plugged in. Just he, just, he just took them off a droid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, also in Star Wars, this isn't really news. This is just something that like I, I caught wind of earlier today, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, I um, I saw a petition pop up online. Now you know these things. Like sometimes they go nowhere. Sometimes they do. Like whatever. But it's a, it's a really cool idea. It's a, an idea for a Star Wars Old Republic series on Netflix. Um, the last I had checked, because I signed the petition, because I was like, why not? Like, that sounds like a really cool idea. Maybe if they get enough, like, interest. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw, there were over 30,000 signatures on, like, the petition. Wow. Which is pretty big. Like, that's I a mean, good number. That's yeah. a good number. And, I mean, I'm sure it's probably higher now. I haven't checked since this morning. But, like, I had a few friends I noticed on my Facebook share it and stuff like that, too. Like... I hope it gets out there and spreads the word because I mean the old Republic time period has like always been one of my favorites in the Star Wars like lore if, yeah. and like it'd be cool for Disney to actually back something like this and it would make sense on Netflix you know well, what I mean and I'm sure there's a lot of studios that would love to do something like this oh yeah not even that but like the studios that did those Darth Maul videos on YouTube something like that stuff like that's yes, always fun. there's people that would love to do this and yeah exactly I guarantee and you could find the good thing is. It doesn't interfere with the movies at all because the older public stuff is technically like wiped from lore, lore from canon, from from canon, canon lore yeah. at least. So like they could easily do another series where it's like, okay, here's the old Republic series, and they could talk about all the cool badass stuff that happened when there was still a ton of Jedi and a ton and of a Sith, Sith, which yep. is the really fun thing about the whole old Republic era is that. It's that time period in the in the Star Wars universe where there's a shitload of Sith and a shitload of Jedi just going to war at each other. Totally. And it's really fun. I mean, it's kind of like Clone Wars in a sense. But, like, in a time period where you don't have to deal with any of, like, the modern day characters. They can make up characters that are really super cool and stuff like that. Um, so go sign it if you're interested. Yeah, go sign it. If you look it up, you can't, it's not hard to find if you're interested in something like that. I mean, throw it on there. Why not, right? Like, it, it's something that you could, like, at least try and back, right? So Blizzard can't do no wrong. Oh my god, Blizzard is genius. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer already, there's an Overwatch Halloween trailer. And no, it's, it's, a, it's already up. It's already happening. If you haven't been on Overwatch, yeah, if you haven't been on Overwatch <laughs> like yet. me, uh, get on there. Because until November 1st, you have a Halloween event that is oh really cool. Oh my god, cool. it is so fun. Uh, I actually played the, uh, the game mode that they released. So they released... A whole bunch of skins and a whole bunch of um, rethemed maps, rethemed maps, and uh, like character designs and just spray paints, spray paints, and the yep. salutes and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of the characters have like uh, you know how they have like the victory poses. Yep. A lot of them are just their hands coming out of a grave with their name on it and stuff like that. Cool. Like, but the they released a game mode called uh, Junkenstein's Revenge, and essentially it's a it's a tower horde, defense horde mode. Yeah, it's a it's a horde mode tower defense game mode where you play as Anna. Uh, McCree, Hanzo, and I forget who the fourth character is. It's not Zenyatta, is it? No. No. Uh, but anyway, um, you play as four specific characters. Oh, it's uh, Soldier 76. Yes. There yeah. You go. Yeah. So you play as those four characters and essentially you're just, you're defending a doorway from these like big robots. There's like varying sizes and types, like some bomb. And then you fight waves of, uh, there's like boss waves where you'll fight Reaper who looks like, uh, 
He's got a Halloween horseman. theme. He's got like a big. Uh, he's got the headless horseman. He's got the pumpkin yep. for a head. Uh, then you fight um, Roadhog. He looks like Frankenstein. Yeah, he looks like Frankenstein. It's really cool. And then you fight uh, Junkenstein himself. Then and you fight Merc- Mercy as a witch. And Mercy looks like a witch, and she's got the cool costume on. And then you fight all of them at once. And there's there's an easy mode, a, ha- a medium, and a hard mode. I beat easy. Um, we got about halfway through medium and couldn't beat it. Um, maybe with a few more tries, I might make it through it, but it was so much fun. It's fun. It's, it's interesting that they're not letting you, like, they're only picking those characters. Maybe they wanted a certain type of, like, game mode, like, to have a feel for it. Maybe it was too easy with maybe certain characters. Maybe it was characters. too, yeah, it could have been too easy with certain like characters. Like, Bastion would have been hilarious. Yeah, yeah that's just, true. Yeah. If you, you got a point there. If you could play Bastion, you could literally just turn it down. Or and, Reinhardt, and you yeah. could just block Because him. you don't really have, like, other than the bosses, you don't really have stuff that's, like, coming at you that's throwing a ton of damage at you. It's more so about dealing with the oncoming waves of yeah, enemies. Yeah, adds. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, yeah. It, but it's, honestly, if you play Overwatch or if you haven't played Overwatch in a while, this was this a reason. Is a time to this jump is back a good on. reason to jump back on. I jump back on, and I, I want to go back on and play some more before this event ends. Totally. It gave me a reason to get back on there, which is what these events are about, right? Like, I mean, that's what these, especially because, like, like we were talking about just before we started recording. Blizzard knows what they're doing. Yep. That's why it's like you said. That's why they told Bungie. They told Bungie when making Destiny, you need holiday events. Yeah, they because and Bungie has followed through, and it's always fun. It's always fun to just have that little bit of reason to go back to on, celebrate the holiday, to celebrate a holiday, game. and play your video game. Exactly. Yep, it, it's totally. it's a perfect perfect. Uh, so once again, uh, which I feel like we do this every single week now, pretty much. But uh, there is another live action Disney movie that's been announced, uh, Aladdin, which. Oh my god. I love I'm excited, Aladdin. but then when you told me that Guy Ritchie is the one directing this. Yeah, so they what? announced that Guy Ritchie is directing it, which like if you aren't familiar with Guy Ritchie, he's done like the Sherlock Holmes films. He did Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, which is funny because I was just talking about that earlier today. Um talking about Snatch? Yeah. A lot of it? Oh yeah. Um But like, yeah, what a weird director. It's like you said, I either picture like a scene where like Aladdin or Jafar call someone a cunt like fifty times in a row in a British accent. Or, or I just everything envision, slows down. I just envision he's dealing with Jafar and he just slows down time and he's like, "I'm going to move to the left. Yeah, I'm going to ask Genie to do this for me." And I'm throat gonna... strike. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Like, what? It's just, it's just like a fight scene from. Uh, I picture sure, you, like, you know yeah. that scene in Aladdin where he's like the where Jafar is the giant snake. Yeah, I picture it's like that scene. He's like, he's like step one. Break glass, <laughs> like she's yeah. like she's, she's like suffocating in the yeah. sand. He's like step break, one, break free. glass. <laughs> step two, break scepter. Like <laughs> step three, throat jab Jafar. <laughs> like it's gonna be great. It's gonna be. You know what though? Everything Guy Ritchie does is fucking great. I mean, he has a very interesting style. Maybe so he's just trying to do something new. Either just... that, yeah. Who knows? But <laughs> honestly, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, I mean, they're picking. They've literally they're picked, picking their favorite ones. I was gonna say they literally picked my three favorite. Disney movies growing up. They picked Aladdin, Lion King, and Mulan. They're also doing Beauty and the Beast. And Beauty and the Beast is happening now. Which Cinderella's already happened, hasn't it? I think it's already happened, yes. Um, but, like, that's the thing. Like, they're doing these movies, and, like, like I said, like, I, I every week I'm like, oh, man, a new yeah. Disney movie. What? Fucking sweet. Hey, let's let's call it next week. They're going to do live-action Toy Story. That's yeah, I was going to say. That's Pixar, but still, yeah, do it. It's on my Disney now. But I just so. want Tom Hanks and uh, fuck Tim, Allen. Tim Allen to, to play their to actual play character. Them. That'd be great. Uh, so if you're like me and you play a lot of PC, you might like this next uh, little tidbit of news. So Valve's announced that they're putting D, uh, the PS4 support for the controller on Valve or on Steam. Yeah, natively. Yeah. natively. They're, so they're adding support for the DualShock 4 controller, which you could use if you're like us. I've been using my PS4 controller for a while now. You need a little Bluetooth like device adapter or whatever, or adapter, plug or plug it in. Um, and a third-party program. Yeah, you needed a you needed a DS4. Uh, it's called it's just called DS4, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. So the program it ran great, but I mean it is a little bit of a pain in the ass having to like run the program, do this thing. It like, did conflict with a lot of stuff, that, and that's a thing. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, it, it wasn't, wasn't very. Thing. But now Steam has taken it upon themselves to basically just add native support for the PlayStation 4 controller, which super I, helpful. Super helpful. I mean, honestly. I guess it had to be Steam that would do it, though. You know what I mean? Because Microsoft's not going to fucking do it. They don't do give it. a shit. Yeah. And Sony's got their head up their ass still, so... Well, yeah. Sony, it's not really their, like... It's not that I don't think it's their their job, but it's one of those things that's, like... It's not their like, problem. It's not their product, so it's not their problem. Like, the controller is, but, like, they're not gearing their stuff towards PC They don't have use. PC play. No. No, and, actually, yeah. but... The other thing with Sony is they've just recently announced or, or released that they have the USB 
adapter for the PS4 controller because of yes. things like remote play. So I highly doubt that they want people not buying that. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. that's the other thing. No, but still, like I said, I mean, good on Steam for doing this because I'm sure they had enough outcry of people saying, like, we want to be able to use our PS4 controller. Because I, like, personally enjoy the PS4 it's controller a, a lot. It's a simple thing to do, too. Yeah, and, like, that's it, right? Like, I mean, it's just a driver. Literally, all they're making they is a... They just need, like, is hey, is a, dude, I'll give you 20 bucks to write this driver. Yeah, yeah, no write, write, this, write this script for me. Um, <laughs> but, like... Like, I mean, obviously, Microsoft is, like, pushing their controllers on. Like, and the, the Xbox One controller is great. I mean, I love the Xbox One oh, controller. God, I love it. But I do also really enjoy my PS4 controller. So, I mean, and it was one of those things that before I had my Xbox One, I never had the choice of using an Xbox One controller. Like, I only had my PS4 controller. So, for people who are doing that and PC gaming, maybe don't have an Xbox One, they don't want to go out and spend an extra $75 on a controller exactly. because they already have a PlayStation controller. So, I mean, this is just a great little thing for that. I mean, and I'm sure... I wonder what how far the support's gonna go. They haven't really announced like what they're, but I wonder if it's just gonna be like, like like library wide. Like if it's just gonna be like it I works really now like a 360 controller or the Xbox One controller. It's like hoping. if it says it has controller support, it's gonna be PS4 as well. Yes, and what I'm hoping is is it's, I hope they don't just do what what they usually do. And uh, yes, it's supported, but you have to use Xbox buttons uh, as your animation oh you know what i mean like where you go into the game you have the ps4 controller but instead you see xbox buttons on your game i hope it's full support so you see triangle so you see triangle, triangle square, square x yeah, circle you see yeah, all yeah. Buttons. that'd be very helpful. that'd be really nice actually that's something i never even thought about like just the fact that they're supporting the controller a but then b yeah like you said like when you're using is it a playstation full support or is it yeah when support? you're using a playstation controller will it show up with the right l1 r1 like hopefully that's what happens. that's that's a good point i never even thought about that mm -hmm. that's cool yeah all right, uh, so last bit of news. Um, not really news, but like PSVR launched this week. Um, if you're one of the lucky enough people to kind of be able to get one of these things. How much uh, they, how much they cost? So Canadian, you are looking at, for the core set, it's 550 Fuck that. For the headset and like all the stuff that you need to run it. Uh, for the bundle, which comes with the headset, the two wands, uh, the, the camera, camera, and a game, it's 699 So it's about 700 bucks. Um mm -hmm. I, uh, it's unfortunate, I, I'll probably do my topic on this next week on the podcast, because I have a friend of mine who's picking one up tomorrow, and we're going to end up playing it, and I'm going to get to try, get to try it. it. Yeah. So I'm actually going to get to try it out myself. Um, I'm really excited to give it a try, because I've always been, I've been a really big supporter of the whole VR thing since I heard about, like, all the, the new stuff that's coming out. I am, but not at this price point. Yeah, I understand that too, but here's the thing. When you look at everything hands down, the PS, PlayStation 1 is the cheapest one of them all. Because I was looking at prices on the Vive and the Oculus, and Oculus is like 600 American, and Vive is like 800 American, which both work out to be about, it was like 800 for the Oculus Canadian, and like 1060 See, for the Vive. That's just for the headset alone. What I don't understand That's is not including the PC rig you gotta go fucking buy to, to run that. Why do we need the move sticks? We don't need the move sticks. Um, why well, did they make that use? What, like, you, you, I get it, it adds extra features. But From what I understand, without the move sticks, you're basically like you're only playing half the VR stuff. You need like you need those move controllers to play. Yeah. Um, but then again, if you look at Vive, Vive has those. Mm -hmm. Vive has just two wands. They just they don't look like the same thing, but they're the exact same idea. They're two buttons, two triggers, and like you know whatever. Um, but it's literally the same thing because it's more fun to interact with stuff when you're actually using your hands. Yeah. From what I've heard, the best game so far, as far as like a finished product is batman nice the batman vr experience apparently is amazing i'd love to get my hands on that i really want to try rigs as well rigs yep. looks amazing um and i've heard good things about eve valkyrie eve valkyrie is like i think a fighter pilot like spaceship like kind of just unfortunate i bought a 4k tv i could have bought this you could have bought this no i i honestly like you said people now are getting on the ground floor of it i think this is still early technology but i feel like when as long as the model out if like see i would pay 400 i'd pay 400 for it That's yeah my comfort zone Going around like 700 because you still have to pay for tax, and being Canadian really sucks when it comes to paying for the shit. I want a nice, a nicer price, especially with like Pro just around the corner. Yep, yep. Like that is or something. Or even better, I want Pro bundled with the oh, VR. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. That would make me happy. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, I mean, like I said, if you are getting in on that, you know, let us know, you know, in the comments and stuff like that. If not, I mean, let us know what you think about VR too, because I mean, I I've been, like I said, I've been a really big supporter of this technology. I think it's really cool. It's a new way to play video games. It's a definitely a new, 
Like it's hopefully it's, it's not 3D. Hopefully it's the next step. That's, yeah, that's exactly, for, exactly. Yeah. Hopefully it's not 3D technology where it's like oh, it's a fad. 3D, 3D but I have a feeling it's not though because like it's really one of those things that like when you when people are playing it. Here's the thing. I'm really excited to try it tomorrow because every time I've ever heard of anyone trying VR, as soon as they try it, they're like supporters of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's very few people that try VR and are like, no, I thought it was dumb or whatever. Mm -hmm. Most people say it's amazing. The only people that usually say like negative things about it are the people that had um, like motion sickness problems with it. And even Pussies. then, even then I've heard most of the people that had motion sickness problems work through it within like a few minutes of playing it's just it's just relearning how to like walk almost like you know what i mean like you have that moment of like disorientation where you're like okay like i'm looking around with my head but like i'm not used to i'm, I'm used to doing that with the thumbsticks but now i'm doing like that with my head and like doing this and like it just looks like it's gonna be a, a blast like i said i'll probably I'm do my shitting topic on, on that next week yeah I'm totally shitting on the price of it but i'm probably gonna go buy it yeah, eventually is it yeah. rated eb games right now we have core bundles yeah let's go fucking get it oh my god do you want to go fucking get it right after this? Let's go get it. I'll do the math in my head about my bills. You know what? Fuck. I don't need rent. I don't need, I don't don't need, need rent. rent. What do you need rent for? You know food. You don't need to feed Mango. M Mango, we'll, she can hunt. We'll send her outside. She's a pug. She can hunt. She can hunt. They, she can hunt. Pugs hunt, right? And by hunting, I mean she's going to just get people to give her free food. Yeah, she's a pug. She's... People are like, oh my god, a pug! Because for some reason, people think pugs are cute. They are in their own ugly, disturbed way. No, no. no. Anyway, that wraps it up. That wraps it up. That's the news for the week. Also, um, just a little tidbit. Played Gears of War 4 on PC and on console using yes. their new Windows 10 thing. Awesome. It yes. works great. It works just as it's supposed to. It's an awesome platform. We're going to expand on that in the uh, the podcast this week. I think one of our topics is going to be Gears of War as and, a whole. And, the and, 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 go, go, motherfucking Power Rangers. Yeah. So if you like Power Rangers and Gears of War, check out the podcast this week. We'll see you there.